Hey everyone, what's going on? Uh, I'm FD and welcome back to part 2 of the Buildcraft tutorial. Uh, this, well, in this episode I'm going to start on some of the machines, but, I mean, look, there's a fair few, I'm not going to finish them. I think we're going to be t doing two, like, machines of Buildcraft per episode, so I mean we're getting through them in... One, two, three, four, five, like, four, maybe five episodes. And then, then that'll be Buildcraft over... I think. But anyway, yeah. So, I just thought I'd sort of lay out all the machines. There's some over there, but I'm doing them today, so. Uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you them all. And then, obviously, I'll go into more detail in other videos. But, um, yeah, this is the laser. Uh, which is pretty much joined to the assembly table. This hasn't actually got an interface. But, um, as I said, I mean, I'll get onto them in a separate video. But they pretty much work together. Uh, this is the mining well. Again, another video. These two work together as well. So, this is the template table and the blueprint library. They, well, sort of work together anyway. Uh, what's this? This is the filler and this is the builder. And then lastly here we have the pump. Um, you should just pump liquids, obviously. But I'll get into all of those in more detail in other videos. Now, onto the today's video. The auto crafting table. I didn't know if to class this as a machine or not. But, um, I mean, I just thought I probably should. There's a zombie spawn underneath me. It was a really bad place to start. Whatever. So I was just settled up this. This is how you make one. Ooh. Uh, crafting table and four wooden gears. Wooden gears, in case you didn't know, is just four sticks in, like, a diamond shape. And you get a wooden gear. Um, so it's four wooden gears around a crafting table. Uh... So I'm a pretty simple recipe. Um, and this was, as, as you can see as well, if you leave things in your crafting table, they won't like pop out. Like if you use a normal crafting table and you walk away with things in there, they'd all pop out. Whereas these, it just stays. I'll show you why. I've set up this little system. So basically I'm going to put items in this chest. It'll be pumped out by the engine into here. And then the automatic crafting tables will be pumped out of this side. And everything. As you can see, it starts to stack on it in that order. That's a bit of a stupid one, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it starts to stack. As you can see, that's just going to stack a lot. We put these first again. But um, yeah, and it won't stack up all the items in one thing like it has here. It'll stack up all of like it'll go around each. And then it'll start again, and look, as you can see, it's dragged it out now. But it still keeps the very first set that you've got in there. So, I mean, there will always be, like, one crafting table and four wooden gears around there at all times, at least one. Um, so, yeah, auto crafting table is really useful. Really useful for these tutorials as well, because you can obviously leave things, like, leave recipes in there, which is why I've used them for all, like, the industrial craft tutorials and the first set of... Well, episode one of Build Craft Tutorials, anyway. Um, it's just simple, really. I mean, it's an easier way to do it. Um, so, yeah, that's the automatic crafting table. That's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. It's just really, really handy. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to be doing today is the quarry. Um, pretty significant item in Build Craft, really. I mean, it'll get you a hell of a lot of resources. Um... I forgot to put a thing down to show how to make this, actually. So that was pretty stupid of me, wasn't it? Still, that's how you make it. You need a... F oh, no, not like that. You need a, f a full diamond pickaxe. Sorry, I've got hiccups. Um, you need a full diamond pickaxe, a piece of redstone, three iron gears, which are wooden gears surrounded by... Um, surrounded by stone in a diamond shape and then surrounded by iron in a diamond shape. Gold gears, exactly the same, but you go up to gold instead, you surround with gold. And then diamond, exactly the same, but you surround with diamond after gold. So basically the gears go from wood to stone to iron to gold to diamond. So yeah, that's how you make a quarry. So pretty expensive recipe really. I mean that's a good uh, three diamonds and then another eight there, so it's a good eleven diamonds, so 
I mean, it is quite expensive. I've just done this to show you how much power it needs. Basically, you don't have to use engines like right next to it like I have here. You can do it like I have over here and just transfer the energy, which is the way that I normally do it. Basically, once you start powering it, you'll get one of these little robots, like up here, which starts building the quarry for you, but I mean, I'll show you that over here. Um, so yeah, this was just to show you the sort of power consumption for it. There's your robot, and it'll start shooting out a red beam and making a frame. Now basically the more power you supply with it, the faster it becomes, and that beam will change from red to yellow, like that, and that will change to green, like that, and then it will turn to blue, but I don't think three engines is actually enough power for it to turn to blue, which is why I've got that over there, to show you it's sort of full power. And I will show you it digging stuff up as well. Basically all the items come out of the top. Um, so you can just put a chest on top like that. And all the animals go straight in there, I'll show you that in a second. Or, uh, or obviously you can pump items out, but you don't need to pump them out, I mean you don't need like an engine to take them out, it just throws them out automatically into a pipe. But you know what, I'll show you what happens if you don't anyway. And as you can see it starts to slow down at the end of the frame, but it will speed up again, it doesn't mean it's getting any slower. Uh, so yeah, there's the quarry arm, and it will go all the way to this corner. And then it'll start. And it will dig through everything except lava. Um, it will stop if there's lava nearby. This slime's just trying to annoy me. There we go. As you can see in the back, uh, well, I'll say background, as you can see there, it's just throwing items all over the place. But if you uh, put a chest on top, there you go, everything goes into there. And uh, that's it. That's basically the quarry in a nutshell, it'll just get you everything within that area, it'll go all the way down to bedrock level as well um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about the quarry, that's pretty much it I mean it's a really helpful item um, obviously you can get it to go a bit faster as I just said but I will show you that now uh, a, a way to sort of, not cheat necessarily but to get around the whole can't go through lava thing if you just put one water block here like just empty a bucket of water in the corner eventually when it gets sort of far down it'll spread across the entire thing and the water will turn the lava into obsidian and then you'll start getting obsidian as well so just put a water block in the corner and then as well if you want to fly down there if you've got you know a jetpack from uh, from industrial craft you can fly down and you can just take all the ores out of the corners, like corners, no, of the sides. But uh, yeah, just get rid of that one water block and all the water will drain out. So yeah, um, well, not really cheating, but you know, it's a bit of a tip. Um, I'll stop this. Uh, no, it's okay, I'll keep it going. Right, so this one, I'm running off six engines, which is what I normally run my quarries off. You can see it'll go from red, yellow green and then blue which is the fastest blue is the fastest it will go and as you can see it's a lot faster than that one was over there <laughs> ridiculously fast there you go slowing down because it's starting i must have some sort of error here something have i just broke it oh no i just must have some sort of error anyway um and again we'll just put chest on top there you go, just running a bit faster than that one over there, I mean, not much faster, but if you want obviously top speed you can, don't you, so, yeah, I normally use six engines, you don't need six engines, but I normally have six engines to fuel sort of all of my build craft machines, so yeah, as you can see on the mini map as well, it makes, well you can see the square that's been made over here, I mean it does make a pretty significant hole, and uh, well you can't see this one, it's the, coordinates in the way but yeah so that's that I, will, I also wanted to show you though let me just turn the rain off oh that's helpful there you go that's better. I also wanted to show you you don't have to have them at this size basically when you put a quarry down it automatically lays that out for you but you don't have to have it at that size to make it bigger or smaller if you really wanted using these things. Let me just get rid of these. 
uh, landmarks. Basically, the redstone torch with lapis above it. Um, I'll show you how this works. Basically, you just mark out the area you want. But they've all got to be sort of in line with each other. There you go. If you right click it, you should probably right click the corner one though, because then it'll join everything up. There you go. And it'll make your square for you. I probably also mention if you uh if you're making a really big one, you can do that. If you put a redstone torch next to it, it will just show you like well, it only works on this one because I've already made the square. But um I'll basically show you where all the lines go. So you're not if you're running really far over this way and then you think, but these lines aren't already here, and then you think, oh no, which 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 like which block do I put it on? Then you'll have a line already across here. Which you know, I might as well show you. See like that. So you run across here. If this wasn't here, you'd be thinking, oh no, which, which block do I put it on? But obviously, because it's there, just plunk it down, and that's that. Um, yeah. So you do that, and you can make it 64 by 64. That's the biggest a quarry will actually sort of dig. But um, I mean, that'd take a very long time. But yeah, just put your quarry on there, and that's it. If you've got your custom sort of sized quarry. And that's pretty much all, all there is to say, to be honest. Um, there you see, you see it digs, digs with sandstone, you're getting coal there. Straight full. Stupid, wasn't it? <sighs> Come on. Right, there we go. There you go, you've got coal, cobble, sandstone, dirt, sand, obviously. I'm in the desert biome. Some iron down there. Where's this one going? Oh, it doesn't actually hit anything significantly. But yeah. So, that was, um, these things, what are they called? Oh my god, why has my mind gone blank? Uh, automatic crafting tables. That was automatic crafting tables and quarries. Um, next episode, I will probably get onto these. They'll probably need an episode in themselves just of one item because they're quite complicated. There's quite a lot of things you can make with them. Like these chip sets here. Um they are well I'll I'll get onto them next episode anyway. But um yeah, thanks for watching. I've been AC be sure to check out sort of my other tutorials and the next tutorial for Buildcraft when when I do it, it'll probably be tomorrow. I'll probably record it after this and just upload it tomorrow instead. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.